Hello beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I look tired because I don't feel really well. It's actually my birthday today, September 12th when I filmed this and I woke up very dizzy and having really hard time to just sit down but I really wanted to do this video because I got so much makeup yesterday. Last night I went to my sister and we did that this box swap that I talked about earlier in my videos and I got a full box with plenty of makeup and I won't be able to try all of this today in this video but I'll do as much as possible. So I really took some medication and was struggling the whole morning. It's actually 1 a.m. to now when I got up from the bed and felt like yeah I feel okay to have these lights on and not as dizzy as I was this morning so I can film. And I also got a gift card from my family or my husband and my kids for a Sephora gift card and also this Natasha Denona retro palette. I did swatch the palette because it, I was excited to get it and I will definitely do a video about this palette later on my channel. So if you want to see that, please keep on watching or subscribe because I have so much new makeup to play with and tomorrow I'm picking up the box swap that I got from my friend Valerie. The box full of makeup and I will use do the unboxing video on this Friday. So don't forget that. Put the notification bell if you are subscribed or subscribe if you already haven't. And let's just dig in in this beautiful box full, full of makeup. Okay, so I think I have almost the full face of makeup in this palette. I got three palettes, no, four palettes here. I got the Viseart palette, and this was actually on my wish list that I sent to my sister uh, because I really wanted this palette. And this is a palette that is very hyped up, and I don't have it in my collection, so I got this one. I love it. I don't know which palette I'm going to use. <laughs> I also got the Naughty palette from Huda Beauty that's all, that also was on my wish list for a long time. And every time my sister, every time I complimented my sister or said my sister had a beautiful makeup look, she had one palette on her eyes every time. I think this happened like three, four times. And it's this palette from Revolution I Heart. And I really think this palette is beautiful when I looked at it. And I loved her and I loved her makeup looks that she created with this palette. So I don't know, I think I'm going to maybe use this today. It's matching my blouse or shirt. So I'll definitely maybe use this. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't decided. So definitely, maybe. I'm confused today. I also got a plenty of uh, cookie. I think cookie. I don't know how to pronounce, but this palette too from Koki. And I really think this is a beautiful palette. I actually wanted to use this palette today. I did swatch a couple of shades, but I got a lot of Koki um, products in this box and I haven't tried anything from this brand so I think I want to do a delicated video for this brand so I'm not going to try it today but I'll definitely do it maybe next week in another video so I got this from Koki I also got the fruit explosion the eyeshadow palette oh my god these are so cute I love the packaging this must be my favorite packaging I've ever seen this is also an eyeshadow palette that I'm not going to read you today because, like I said, I want to use this. This is also one of my favorite products that I got from my sister, Koki, uh, Kiko Milani. I'm going to use, oh, sorry, I forgot, uh, Koki, a brand, and uh, Kiko Milani. I haven't tried anything from Kiko too, so I'm going to use, I was mixing up the, the names. I'm going to use this also in another delicate video. Not delicate video for um, Koki. I thought it was the same brand, but it's not. It is? Is it? Koki Kiko. No, I was <laughs> mixed the names. They are very similar, so maybe I will use this one today. Or maybe in another video. I don't know. I really want to use uh, this Revolution, I Heart Revolution palette. Uh, this is such a beautiful bronzer. Look. And it smells like Fanta oranges. Oh, stunning. I really want to use it, but I'll do a delicate video. Can't use all of them because I have another brush, uh, bronzer too to show you. 
I also got a couple of samples. We love samples, me and my sister, so I got plenty of samples to try out. Just remove this over here. I also got this uh, Sebastian Dark Oil shampoo and conditioner to try out. She knows how much I love the hair oil, but I haven't actually tried the shampoo and conditioner. She loves it. She's been repurchasing it a couple of times and she really wanted me to try it too. I also got something that I had in my wish list for a very long time and is this Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced. I finally have this one and I can't wait to play it. So I'm definitely, definitely using this today. I got the sample size from my friend Valerie last time in a box for but I think, let me just pick it up. I think that, that was the darkest shade. Yes, this is, uh, I've used this so many times. Smells really good. I think this is, is it the same shade? I think so. This is the lighter version. I don't know, but I love it. And then I also got it from Kiko Milani, this beautiful highlighter. Oh my God, look at this packaging. I mean, this packaging is everything. And this highlighter is, smells like raspberries and looks so stunning. So I'm definitely using this another time, not today because I have another highlight to use. I also got something that I used before that I got from her last time in uh, on for my birthday and I really really wanted it again. This is the Milk Cosmetic Hydro Gripping Primer. It's one of the best primers that I've used. Love it and I was so happy to get it again. But she also got me the Hydro Grip and Set uh, Setting Spray. So I'm definitely using this today. I also completed a couple... I also like how her cheeks look sometimes and every time I said that she had this on. This is the I Heart Revolution uh, blush in shade Brave, I think. Is it called Brave? I don't know. But I thought this shade was beautiful and she got it for me. I also got the Kiko Milani Juicy Blush in shade 1. That's a liquid blush and it looks really, really good and beautiful. Not using this one today because I'm going to use the, the other one, but it's coming up on my channel. Let me say, yes, I had more things. I also got the Koki Soft Glow Highlighter. I think I'm going to use this one today because it looks really stunning. Uh, I also got the Rimmel Finishing Lipstick, Long Lasting Finishing Lipstick in number 42. That's kind of like a nude color. Looks so beautiful. Definitely using this today. Uh, I also got, yes, this is something that I also wanted to try for a long time. This is the Till the End eyeshadow primer, Crease No Longer or Crease No More from Linda Halberry. And I also got something that I really wanted to try. This is the Foundation Born This Way matte version of from Too Faced and I tried the other version, the first version that I loved, loved, loved. And I really wanted to try this Disney Porcelain. I think this was my shade when I used the other foundation, but I'm definitely using this today. And uh, last but not least, I got two of beautiful uh, earrings. I'm using this today from my sister. She knows how much I love earrings. I'm actually going to do um, an earring up here, I wonder. I need to book appointment, but I'm definitely going to. Oh, are a little bit loud, but maybe we can work around them today. Or I'll apply them at the end. This is how they look. This is their, they're beautiful, but I don't know if you can hear the side. I think I'm going to use them at the end of the video when we finish the whole makeup. So it doesn't bother me when I apply the foundation in the bronzer. So that's everything that I got and I'm very happy and very excited. So let's start and use it. Let's just zoom in a little bit. So let's start with the gripping primer that we know how much I love this. If you follow me, you know that I used up every drop from this that I got. It's actually one of my best. I know I sent this to my friend Valerie last time and I think uh, she has more dry skin. So it's not doing exactly the same thing as it does for my oily skin, but I think she does use it and like it. 
I don't know if you can hear my kids they are playing in the room next to my beauty room and they are very loud they're playing game games oh this is such a beautiful primer it's sticky it's exactly exactly what I want I decided to go in with this because I am so excited to try this palette I'm going to go in with Linda Halberg eyeshadow primer so I know this intro was like a little bit long, but that's what happens sometimes when you film. And I got a couple of people saying in my comments down below, they don't like when I, uh, you know, unbox everything uh, from the box. They want me to open everything off camera and then just show it. But it's sometimes not my style. So I hope it doesn't bother you too much. Linda Han, this is how it looks. I don't know if it has any pigment. Or anything but I heard that this is a very good eyeshadow primer and you know if you watch my video you know I'm obsessed I am with these eyeshadow primers and I'm getting new eyeshadow primers all the time so I'm never finished with this video that I'm talking about for months now but that video really needs a lot of time and a lot of work and I want it to be really good no it's kind of see-through kind of thick consistency I don't know how much to apply but it feels it feels like powder I don't know how much to apply I'm going to go in with the powder that I got from the Fan Valley because I didn't get any powder here to just set this a little bit because I always set my base let's go in with this palette this is such, such a cute palette I mean, I tell, told her so many times how beautiful her eyes are and other people at work and she always had this on and this, we talked about this yesterday. Sometimes when I have like Pat McGrath's or Marina palettes or uh, Huda Beauty, not Huda Beauty, but the Natasha Donata palettes and I really put a lot of effort to do this makeup look and I do get compliments and people do think it's beautiful, but I always get so many compliments when I use drugstore makeup. Uh, so. That's interesting, but yeah. Okay, that plastic one. Look how beautiful this palette is. These purples really call my name, so I think I'm going to use that. Yes, it's not going with my clothes today, but who cares? I also have the new uh, opened, they're not new brushes, but new opened so-so brushes that I want to use. I'm using this one. So, so number 201. I'm going to mix. I, this could turn out to be a disaster, but who cares? In this cappuccino shade. That's like a, oh, they are powdery. Uh, like a pinkish, not pinkish, but yellow base. Oh, these are soft. My sister said they are powdery, but they are really easy to work with and beautiful. I'm going to wear this whole day just to see how it's going to, how this eyeshadow palm is working and how the foundation is working. So this is showing up on my eyes. Oh, this brush is so soft. Okay. So I'm going to go in with a some other blending brush that's a little bit smaller. Not smaller, but another blending brush, something like this. This is number 203. And we are going in with the Coffee. Coffee, Coffee, this shade here. This palette matches my nails. So they are powdery, but they're still blending very nice. Let's see if we can build it up. So I did went a couple of times in with this purple, but I think there was a little bit of a mistake that I did when I, when I applied this cappuccino shade first, because this other one didn't really want to show up. So I'm using this brush, it's called 202 it's like a flatter blending brush and I do want to go in with macchiato this shade here and the this makeup look I really like how this is going on the eyes I just feel like you need to build them up, uh, but the pigment is there. They're kind of soft, so this is a very nice beginner-friendly palette, but it's turning out really, really good. 
I'm going in, I just want to dip it up even more, so I'm going in with Americano, this dark brown shade with the same, same brush. There is a lot, plenty of kickback, but it's not bothering me at all. And some fallout still not bothering me. I do have gripping primer, so definitely it will grip, but it's not bothering me. I'm not going anywhere. I feel sick today. Or dizzy. My blood pressure is very low. I do have problem with low blood pressure. I don't know if you experience that, guys, but it's making me nauseous and dizzy and just wipe off. Yeah, it's like wiping off. I'm going to use my fingers and go with the ice shade here. That's like a purpley shade here. Mm, it's such a beautiful, a little bit chunkier, but... Oh, oh no, uh, it's... Oh, I dipped in a little bit too much. So I dipped in a little bit too much with my finger. I really went on like crazy in it. So I will try to remove some of the fallout. And I will use a flatter brush, go in with that shade again. But I do want to wet it a little bit with some spray. My sister said to me to go with a glitter glue, but I forgot. Uh, this is working. Wet brush is working. She told me to go in with the glitter glue, but I just forgot what she said. Because it works much better, of course, with the glitter glue. Yes, now this is looking much, much better, the wet brush. So I just go in with the brush that I used before and blend the edges a little bit. We are going in with Bone This Way matte version of this foundation. I love Too Faced foundations. And I can't wait to try this one. Going in on a be clean beauty blender. This foundation is going on really nice on my face and I like it. I love Too Faced foundations. I like the other one and I like this one. I could definitely build it up a little bit, but I'm not going to because like I said, I'm not feeling really well, so I'm not going to just over do makeup. Going in with e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer to cover this up. So I'm going to set everything with the Aerospan powder. Okay, this foundation really looks good on my skin. I love it. I'm not going to do a lot of more powder on the rest of the face because this is a mattifying foundation. But I am going to go in and fix my eyebrows. I don't have an eyebrow product here, but I'm going to go in with my Nick Cosmetics pencil. So we are going to go in more and finish the makeup look. I'm going to take this brush that's number 205 from Sosu and I'm going to go in with... Hmm... I'm going to go with that purple. Could make me look sick, but... No, it does not going to. Some shades, when you use it under my eyes, make me look sick, but I don't think this one will do. No, it looks beautiful. Good. It's like a gray, purple shade. And I'm lo really loving this metallic shade on my eyes. And I'm going to go in with the Ameri this shade, Americano, just on the third part of the eye. Instant, this shade here. So let's go in with the bronzer and, and I am going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Sole. I mean, this. look at this packaging. I mean, you've seen this hundreds of times, but the packaging is everything. And, mm, I'm happy. So I'm using my brush from Cash Beauty. This is not a clean brush, but it picks up a lot of products. Went in a little bit hard with this one. This 
this bronze is really pigmented, but I love going in with heavy with the bronzer. It's just my cup of tea, um, and it's really blending beautifully. It's blending beautifully. I just love it. Ooh, beautiful! Like it, like it. That's a plus. So I'm going in with this Eye Heart Evolution brush, brush, not blush. God, just remove the packaging. I don't own any blushes in this packaging, but I think they are beautiful. And I really love how it looks on my sister. I think this is brave. Yes, the color is brave. It's matte. And look at this pink shade. Going in with it. She said when I go through the first layer, it's going to be more pigmented, but... Oh. That's nice. It's very soft, so you can build it up and go in hard and don't be and not be scared that you're going to take too much. But I like that. So we have two more things. We have highlighter and the lips. So for the highlighter, I am going to go in with the cookie, cookie, cookie. Highlighter and this is the shade Lamy. I'm going to use my fingers because I love applying highlighter with my fingers. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. It's more like that um, um, shimmery glitter highlighter, but it's really beautiful. More chunky highlighter, but it looks stunning on my cheeks. Let's go in uh, with a brush instead and see if we can get more pigment. Yeah, I have this highlighter brush from, I think it's from Five from Cash Beauty. It's not clean, but let's go with the brush and see if we can. It's a beautiful highlighter. Gives me a wet look. It's not too dark. I like this. Oh, I like it a lot. It looks so much better when you really had time to sit, sit on the skin. I like it. Definitely going to use a lot. Okay, so we are going to go in with lipstick. But before going with lipstick, I do want to apply some lip liner. Rebecca Stella number two. I love this color from Lip Planet. It's like my lips were better. I'm very excited to go in with this 42, number 42 uh, lipstick from Rimmel. Rimmel. Looks like a beautiful nude light shade. Oh, creamy. Oh, I love it. Oh God, it's going so good with this lip liner. Oh, I love it. It goes on really good with this lip liner. This is going to be a shade that I'm going to use every day. Let's set everything and I am going to use the Hydro Grip setting spray to seal the deal here. Let's mix it. Set it. Mm, the spritz is a little bit, you know, strong but Everything looks so good. So I'm going to go in with mascara. I didn't get any mascara, but I do have plenty of mascara. So Joa Beauty doesn't fit. It's not available in Sweden, but my friend Valerie sent it to me. I love this mascara. It's hard to remove it because it's waterproof, but it is dream. It's even better than my L'Oreal Paradise. That's how much I love this mascara. And it's good if you have really oily eyelids. So guys, this is the final look. I really love how my eyes turned out. This palette is powdery. It is, uh, the mattes are soft pigmented. So you need to build them up and work with them more than with other, with other palettes. But it's something that I think everybody should have in their collection. Because when you put some work in it, it turns out this amazing, mesmerizing, and I really love the primer. You know, I'm obsessed. I love it. I'm so happy to have it, and it's going on with uh, with my clothes today. The setting spray uh, feels amazing. It's giving me that lum not luminous, but it's giving me like a healthier glow, soft glow look. 
but it's it dried down it feels still matte it feels like it's going to keep my own in control so i'm very excited to see how this is going to work after using it the whole day uh, but i love this <laughs> i can't stop staring at it because the shades are beautiful and the eye look is just mm, oh, out of this world i really love the makeup look today uh, the foundation is beautiful. I love the foundation. I think it is also as good as the other one. This is more mattifying, which will which be a little bit better for me. Maybe keep my own just a little bit better in, you know, control them a little bit more, my own. But I love the foundation. The bronzer is a dream come true. Look at my bronzer makeup look. The blush is stunning. Stani, how, how, how on this earth didn't I try this before? How could I not try this? How? I don't get it. How could I skip this? Why didn't I buy this? It's so cute. It looks my cheeks healthy, uh, make them look healthy and shiny and not shiny, it's mad, but healthy. And um, I don't know, just beautiful shade. I love it. The highlighter is so nice, really, really nice. And I I just love everything. And they are still, the lipstick, oh my God, the lipstick is soft, creamy, perfect nude shade. And I love it, love it. It goes really, really good with, with this number two Rebecca style lipstick. That's like my lip shade, but a, a, just a couple of shades darker. And I love how it goes very nice together with this lipstick. It's like a perfect marriage. And the mascara, Joyce Beauty, I didn't get this from my sister, but that one is nice. And the eyeshadow promo is good. I'm just going to see if it's going to last or not. But I really, the earrings are beautiful. They do sound, so I uh, will have them at the, you know, when I finish my makeup look, just because they're longer and, you know, when you go in and blend everything up, it can kind of make them look, I don't want to get foundation on them or other products. So I'm really happy. I have still a lot of things to try out from this birthday gift that I got from my, my sister. I love it. Thank you so much. I'm so excited about everything. I feel terrible and I'm still dizzy. And I, I, I don't know if you can see in my eyes that I'm just trying not to open them too much because I get dizzy and tired. But still, I wanted to play this makeup and this makeup made me feel better and make me feel more beautiful today. And I really love it, love it, love it. I just love it. That's everything. You've seen a couple of more products that I just kind of talked about and showed you in this video, in the beginning of this video. I'll definitely use them in the future videos on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload those videos. Guys, on Friday, unboxing the box from my friend Valerie. Don't forget about that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video and I see you in my next one. Bye.